Have you ever used a tire as a raised bed in your backyard garden? Let us know by commenting below. Agros Wade and welcome everyone to Agros Wade Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Junius Wade. In today's video feature, we're gonna cut this tire. We're gonna recycle a tire to make into a gardening pot, as I like to call it, a recycled tire raised bed. Now the tire can be used basically as is because. You can actually plant it like that. A lot of persons, that's what they do. The tires like that, you simply put it on the ground, fill it up with soil, and they plant in it. But I've observed that that is not too effective, and the tire isn't being used efficiently. Because when you pull it through soil, this is your only working area, this here. And I'll show you how amazing it is when you actually cut this part off, which is the top here. Also, I'm going to show you how it looks even better when you turn the tire inside out. And it's perfect, perfect in terms of a raised bed because for sure it can't get rusty. Surely not, wooden cannot attack it. And it's very strong and will last for a long while. And furthermore, it's black so it will attract heat and it's circular. So it's, it will make your garden even look better when you have a lot of tires randomly placed because it looks better when it's randomly placed in the garden than in a line. Although it's good because I will do some actually in a line, it will look better when it's randomly placed throughout your garden. Come a bit closer while we cut this tire. I'm going to show you why it's better to have a pointed edge one with this sort of design. But this is the one I usually use. But I'm going to show you so that you can get one like this or similar to this design like that. So you can cut your tire effectively. So now you find the line on the tire. There's always a line to the hardest part and the softest part. So just find the line and work within. So take the knife and pierce. Make sure it's pointed and sharp. And then you pierce down into it. And again, you hear that already? I don't know if you heard the noise when it cut into it, but cutting made better because of the jagged edges. See this? Yeah, this? It cutting better. So now you take your knife, follow the line, and then you you don't even have to push really. You just let the knife sink down and pull towards you. And just follow the pattern of the circle and just do this. But I'm going to do it with energy as a uh, custom. So let me just do it for you to see. So remember, just take your knife, pierce between the line and the softest part of the tire. Make sure it go, goes all the way down. Basically, as you pull in towards you, you're in a sharp edge, cut through the rubber. But I'm going to do it as I'm custom, which is with bigger. Don't panic here, I already start to cut it there, so we're just gonna go let this drop in. Let's get it wrong. And you see how I'm positioned with in such a way that I can hold it and put my back into it so to speak. And not in any funny way you're uncomfortable. Make sure you're in a position where you're comfortable. Now of course, some people usually design it, but I do not have um I'm not really uh, motivated really to design it. I simply want to plant. It goes for landscaping purpose. Maybe you can design it, cut it all sort of ways. But I rather follow the line. It's perfect. It's just better for me than designing it. Okay. So I'm just going to get you a bit closer so you can actually see the knife cutting through or cutting into the rubber. So I'm going to turn it inside out and this part can be a bit difficult so I suggest that you get help if you're not too bad at it or if you don't want to do it yourself after you cut it just plant it like that but I want to turn it inside out so first thing I'm going to do I have it sitting down like this I put my foot down on it like that push it like this hold this part here and as I'm going I'm pushing with my hand so basically like this so we turn it in, inside out and then when we come to this part here this might be a much 
this might be a bit, bit more difficult for you to understand than it looked but voila I rather use it like this this is like a perfect raised bed I rather use it like this for sure so now that you've seen how you can cut a tire I would really hope that you practice recycling by going to your local um, garage or automotive store where they have boost tires that they are um, throwing out or it's just there accumulating water on the inside and breeding mosquito that you'd go there get some tires so thank you very much for liking our videos thank you for subscribing to youtube channel thank you for all those of you who have subscribed to youtube channel and i just want to encourage you to continue to share these videos and if you have any suggestion or ideas don't hesitate to comment below or send us a private message on our whatsapp which is 1767-617-0224 or you could also send us a message on our facebook page thank you very much and agus wait is out